Hi everybody! Happy 4th of July to those of you who are here in the United States. I hope you're having a great weekend. I just wanted to do a really quick tutorial today about how I made this little 4th of July goodie bag. Um, I had some leftover supplies on my desk from the Amuse Studio Creative Consultants blog hop from July 2nd. Um, these little stars and the paper, the red and blue paper was already pulled out on my desk for from the invitation that I made for that project. So um, I thought why not just make a cute little 4th of July bag. You can see um, you know it's a little just like a little lunch sack style bag almost. Um, and I've actually I have a can of embossing powder in there because the ribbon on the front is <laughs> kind of heavy and it flops over if there's nothing in it. Um, but I'm just going to show you um, how, just how to make the base bag and then you can embellish it any way that you like. You can use these for, um, they'd be really cute for our kids or grown ups even, uh, birthday party favors. Um, they're a really nice size and you can change up the size too um, and you can decorate them however you like. So once you see how easy this is to do, you will not believe it and you will never be able to stop making these, I promise. They're so much fun and you will find so many great uses for them. So let's get started. So to make the base of the bag, all you need, believe it or not, are two very simple things that you have in your house already. An envelope and some dry adhesive. Whatever kind of dry adhesive, or you can use a glue stick, that would be just fine. I'm using my um, tape roller that I use all the time. And the first thing you want to do, we're just going to close up our envelope. And you want to try to put the adhesive pretty close to the edge. Make sure you don't put any in this space here where it's going to be um, attaching uh, to the inside of the envelope because we need it to open um, or else it won't we won't be able to use it for a goodie bag so you just put the adhesive on three sides try to get it kind of close to the edge and then I'm just gonna close up the envelope and now that I have my envelope all glued shut um, I've got it here on my scoring board and you can make pretty much whatever dimension um, that you want and you're gonna score whatever that measurement is you're going to score it on three sides so on the two long sides and one of the short sides for uh, my sample project i used three quarters of an inch and basically um, double whatever measurement you choose is going to be the uh, width of your bag so i'm going to do three quarters of an inch again you can do an inch you can make it a little bit smaller a little bit bigger and you can always change um the size of your envelope as well will change the size of your bag overall. Okay, there's two sides and then on the third side. And now that I have my envelope scored on three sides, I'm going to fold on those score lines and crease it really well with my bone folder. And I want to fold all the score lines in both directions and that will be a huge help when we're going to um, take this from an envelope to a bag. So you want to just fold on all three score lines and crease it really well with your bone folder. Okay, and now to make um, the top of our bag where it opens up, you could just put this in your trimmer or take your scissors and just cut a little bit off the top. But I am going to use my Fiskars um, Scallop Edge Punch here. And I'm just kind of lining it up. I'm looking at the guide here and uh, lining it up so that it'll be as close to centered as I can get it. Okay, and now you can see that our envelope, we're able to open it up on that one side. And now we want to put our bag together. And to do this, you're just going to stick your hand down inside the envelope, push these sides in on that center. And we're going to do that on both sides, just push in and kind of reverse all of those folds. So now you can see where we've got these kind of these little tabby do's sticking out here. And I'm just going to kind of squish those down again on this fold right here. Kind of squish those down so that the bottom of our bag is flat and the two sides are folded 
in on themselves. Okay, and I've got just two little pieces of score tape here, and I'm going to put one of these on each of these little tabs. So now that I have the score tape on both tabs, I am just going to fold those in and stick them down. And they're not really going to want to stick right away, even though it is score tape. So what I like to do then is flip it over and use, you can use your bone folder or um, pencil or a pen or something like that, and just kind of get it down in there and give those tabs a squish. Okay, and that's that. That That is the bag together. And it's all set. And then you can, if you want, you can fold over the top or you could punch two holes and tie a ribbon through. I did forget to mention while I was putting the bag together that if you're going to be stamping on the front of the bag, you want to do that right after you've done the scoring on your scoreboard and before you start doing the folding. Um, and then that way you'll have a nice flat surface to stamp on. So I'll show you one more time. This is the sample bag that I put together with this pretty little rosette medallion here and um, hand cut stars and I used a paper tray um, die cut set for the four. Um, so there you go. There's a sweet and simple little project that you can use for all types of occasions, and I hope you give this a try. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.